Ladies and gentlemen, for $20,000, which one would you rather have? The 1958 Plymouth Plaza or a 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo? First thing is, let's walk around the 1958 Plymouth. We gotta walk around the outside before we go to the inside and check the engine bay. Think about the older cars, is there's a lot of brown panels. What you see right here, super classics, round panels, chrome bumpers, the headlights you can see, they're extended out, which is something I did not pay attention to till I came over here and looked at them. When we come to the grill, something about the grill, which it makes it more unique than all the newer cars is, is it goes across from one side all the way to the other side of the car, which brings it a lot of air. Does this car overheat? Probably. Even though older cars are super wide and super long, they still maintain the narrow wheelbase. If you take a look, look where the wheel placement is and look where the fender is. And when it comes to the wheel, this one has a 14 inch wheel. Nowadays, you see cars with 17 inch brakes. Other than the round panels, it also has round windows. Look at the shape of the windshield. It comes all the way to the side. And same thing for the back window. Also has a round that goes all the way to the side of the car. For $20,000, you only get one windshield wiper. Typically they have two, but this one is missing one. And also you don't get a washer fluid sprayer. This one does not have it. So you can drive in the rain, you can clean the water off the glass, but you cannot spray the car with your own fluid to clean your own glass. Another classic thing that you will get is this iconic white round roof. You don't get this one even on your cars. You think G-Wagons have heavy doors? You need to come and take a look at this one. First thing is it's got a very super cool door handle. Look at this thing. You open like that and the door opens for your lady. And when you close it, you just <laughs> Walking to the back of the car, you can see it's got this beautiful Plaza badge. In the beginning, I thought this was the Plymouth Fury, but it's not. It is the Plaza. And the Plaza, they brought them in two models. They have the coupe, which is a two-door, and also the four-door, which is a sedan. If you come to the back, we got this iconic, beautifully looking, classic taillight. You got the taillight right here, and you got this shape right here that you cannot miss. And when it comes to the trunk, you press this one, lots of bodies you can't fill in this thing. It depends on how you chop them. Maybe five, maybe ten. And now we're inside the vehicle. Now you can see we got a full bench. We have a massive, ginormous steering wheel. The rear view mirror is placed right here and it's not up there. We also have white windshield visors. And another thing that we don't have is headrests. A lot of the older cars do not have headrests. They kind of feel weird, but at the same time, that's a beauty of classic cars. When it comes to the doors, we have this beautiful door handle. That is easy. You cannot even miss. You pull, the door opens. We have windows that roll down manually, and also, and the rear windows also roll down manually, which not a lot of cars have this option. Also, as an option, from what I heard, you will get the extra added rear seat on these plazas. And here we have the dash super classic beautiful in silver finish we have the gas meter we have the temperature meter we have the oil meter and also we have the speedometer right there the car currently has a 53 4 000 miles on this 1958 plymouth we have an inline six 3.8 liter engine that provides not a lot of power the current owner said he's gonna swap it out with a hemi engine and that'll be very awesome but for the price that we have this is what we get, a rusty engine. Boy, these things are built like a tank. Everything is steel, super heavy, super durable. Just look at the sound. The last thing before we take it for a drive, I want to show you a few things. The e-brake and older cars. If you don't know, this is where the e-brake is. Now we all got the buttons and older cars. We had them right here in the foot and the previous ones before that, it was by the hand over here. But the older ones, they're right here. Now it's release and to pull, you just pull it all the way out and to release it, that's it. You start and go. As you go, this is the shifter that we have. It's called threes on the trees, which is the three speeds are hanging right here. We got the reverse up here. We got the first gear down and the third gear up. Well, the second gear up and then the third gear down this way. And hopefully it will do 40 miles per hour. Starts right up, 
e-brake is released clutch all the way in first gear let's go look at that steering wheel the turn rate is absolutely horrible we're not gonna go too far because we do not have a seat belt this car apparently does not have seat belts driving this thing there's a lot of play in the wheel almost half a turn but it's fine you can make it work everything is functional you can see the speed absolutely fine honestly the way it rides is not bad i just wish it was a convertible but it's nice that you can have something above you and you can drive it when it's uh, raining outside you cannot have that with a convertible and also you don't deal with a lot of leakage other than that it's just the way it rides is super nice super classic you definitely get a lot of attention whether you know cars or you don't know cars you'll get a lot of attention in this thing so if you're single get one of these and now let's get to the JDM baby we have a 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution these are one of the best cars ever built a four-cylinder two-liter engine that produces almost 900,000 horsepower these cars got so much more popular after the movie Fast and the Furious if you take a look at this one specifically it's got a big intercooler the front end super Japanese we got a hood vent in here that all the rain will leak into your blocks which is fine and if we go to the this is how we have an 18 inch wheel and also the car is lowered there is barely any wheel gap in here if we come to the back if we go to the back we have this giant wing that will use it for absolutely no downforce it's, I don't even know what it's meant for but to me it looks cool as hell so we just found out that the Japanese ones shoot that way and the Americans ones shoot this way we're talking about the exhaust another thing is the owner did was making these taillights pink why I don't know, but they work. Now let's pop the hood and see what's underneath. Again, I don't understand most of the things that's in here, but what I see is the headers are right here and they're rusted. So for $20,000 on this one, you'll get a rusted engine. And on this one, you also get a rusted engine. So it's a win-win anyways. To get inside the car is very comfortable, super easy access, and also the seat moves. On that one, that bench is stationary. So if you sit, you sit, you cannot move it. If you're tall, you have to deal with it. If you're short, you also have to deal with it. Let's start it and also show you the inside and take it for a drive and tell you which one is better and you guys make a choice a quick tour about the interior we have factory recaro baby that's what the owner said the e-brake is right here and the older one is right there doesn't make a difference yeah maybe if you want to pull this one and kick this one to the side the shifter is replaced but it's super tiny it makes a difference to some people if it's smaller i don't know if it's bigger to so also some people makes a difference we have some gauges right here i believe these aftermarket i'm not sure but there's a lot of numbers going on right here we got the oil pressure right here we have the boost gauge and also we have probably the tune that says air fuel ratio and also the gauges are all clear in here you cannot miss anything before i put the seat bolt that i did not have in that other car this one has a harness bar so if you want to put a four five point six point harness you can mount it to this and we'll go above your hans device you got the helmet on you know for sure you're almost not gonna die Okay, I did not expect that. I think I just did like 80, 85, 100 and like just three gear pull. It smells so nice, E85. Cameraman, what do you think about the pull? It's my first time driving this thing. That was actually fun. Thanks to the owner of this vehicle that allowed me to do this and also thanks to the owner of the other vehicle that allowed us to do that. For now, we're just gonna take it a little bit easier because he told me do not blow it up. Why do these look so sticky? <laughs> Uh, the owner said do not talk about these um, he said all the fanboys they're gonna think this is uh yeah anyways all right let me mention something real quick before we end the video if you want to buy a car and you want to get a lot of chicks you definitely want to get that plymouth and if you want to buy a car and you want to get a lot of dudes you got to get this evil man <laughs> 